Hey, this is Brian Wall with WorshipTutorials.com. Just a quick video today to show you how you can use ProPresenter to trigger the pads that you can get at Worship Tutorials uh, for your worship services. We use ProPresenter at New Hope. I know a lot of worship leaders uh, know and love ProPresenter or uh, hate it depending on how stable it is running that day. But uh, it's, it's a pretty well-known software, it's widely used, and it works very well. We use it a lot um, exactly this way at, uh, at New Hope for our worship services. So the first thing, there's a couple things to uh, talk about as far as setup goes. Um, this is assuming that the machine that you run ProPresenter on has audio that is outputting to your board or your front of house somehow. So you can do that in uh, one of several ways. Probably the easiest is just use the uh, headphone out of the computer that you are using. You can run it on a laptop, uh, desktop, doesn't matter. Um, but you'll want the audio output to go into your board or mixer or something that goes to uh, your front of house mix because we're going to get these pads running through ProPresenter. The next thing is you're going to want to set up a, uh, a set list. So here I have, uh, I don't use this computer for uh, live use on Sunday, so this is a very... Uh, bare bones looking pro presenter uh, uh, instance here. I just have three songs and uh, some random video. <laughs> and let's just say that your worship set is going to go uh, Our God, Cornerstone, Oceans, and then a video element of some kind. So what I've done is I've just pulled in Our God, there's Cornerstone, there's Oceans, and uh, here's a video. One of my worship tutorials videos, right there it is. So I have motion backgrounds for all of these songs. There's the one for Our God. Uh, that's Cornerstone, kind of blue lights thing. Oceans, uh, kind of looks like it's underwater. Works pretty well. We actually used that one for Oceans and it's pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is pull in the pads into ProPresenter. So if ProPresenter looks like this, you can go to View, and then select audio bin or you can push control A and it brings up your audio bin. Now the next thing you want to do is create a playlist of the pads. So you just hit the, uh, actually you don't want to push that button yet. You go up here to this little gear and uh, I would create a new playlist. I would call it pads. And then you can either use this dialog and uh, pull in all of the pads. Um, or you can just find them in your uh, browser. Let me find them in my browser. There we go. There are the pads. And then I can just select them all, drag them into this playlist, and uh, there they are. So now I've got A flat G all the way through, all 12 keys. One thing you can do is you can select all of these pads and uh, make them all, I don't know if this is gonna work. But you want to set these, we set these to loop. So if you right click on the pad, you can go to behavior, loop. Yeah, that changed them all, cool. So now when uh, these pads play, I'm just gonna play one to show you what I'm talking about. Let me turn some volume up so you can hear it. And uh, what you're hearing is just the pad coming out of my laptop speakers. So this is not what these pads actually sound like but uh, anyway when you get to the end of the pad they're all 20 minutes long let's say we get to the very end 25 oh, 10 seconds uh, it's fading out we've set this to loop so once it hits the end it's just going to loop back to the beginning there it goes it's looping okay so what you can do in ProPresenter, let's just go, we'll clear everything that's playing right now. So the way that you can set ProPresenter up to play uh, whatever pad you want or any audio file for that matter is you just take this audio file and you drag it. Let's say we're going to do uh, Our God in the key of A. You just drag it up to uh, the opening background that you're going to use. Uh, that slide. Now you can see there's a little mp3 icon in this slide. So that tells you that uh, when you hit this it's going to trigger uh, a background, that's what that icon means, and an audio file, that's what that icon means. And so we hit it, there it goes, the background plays, 
pads play and uh, we can just advance through our song and uh, we hear the pad going the whole time. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to stop playing this pad. Uh, so let's set up our whole set. So we've got our God. It's in A. Let's do cornerstone in the key of C. So here's the key of C pad. Just drag it up to cornerstone. Uh, let's do oceans in the key of D. All right. Drag that key of D up there. Now let's say when we play this video, so the way ProPresenter works is the audio bin sort of uh, functions independently from the video and image uh, output. So what will happen now is if we play Oceans and this pad is going and we come over to this video and play it, the pad will be playing under the video as well. And uh, I'm just going to make an assumption that you don't want that, especially if your video has an audio track already built into it. So a little trick you can do in ProPresenter is right click on the, uh, the slide, go to add a clear, add clear action cue, and it will clear the audio. You will see a little audio with an X, a little speaker with an X. That means whatever is playing in the audio output section of ProPresenter is going to be cleared by this uh, slide and uh, it works very well. So one last thing that we're gonna wanna set up is our crossfade time. So I think by default ProPresenter is set at like 0.8 second or something like that. Um, I kinda like more like one and a half to two second crossfade and I'll show you how that works in just a second. So let's go, uh, we can save, uh, save what we've got so far. So save all or command uh, S. And let's say we're starting our set. Let's clear everything before we start. Uh, countdown hits zero. We start our set. Background goes up for our God. And there's the pad. So we play through our God. Uh, let's say we get down to the end. And uh, we're kind of ending the song out. We get Cornerstone ready to go. Uh, time to start Cornerstone. Boom, put that background. And there's the fade. That was our two second crossfade. I'm gonna do that again to show you how it sounds. Let's go back to the Our God motion background. All right, we faded into the key of A pad. Now let's come back to uh, Cornerstone. We faded into key of C. Now we didn't have to tell ProPresenter to stop playing the audio file that was playing because we've when, when you tell ProPresenter to play a new audio file, it'll automatically crossfade from whatever audio file was playing at this rate that you set down here. Okay, so we get to the end of Cornerstone. Uh, let's go to Oceans. All right, Oceans is playing. And uh, now we've got to the end of Oceans. Let's say that's the end of our set. You can let it play, and uh, let's say you're going to pray on, uh, while this is going. You've got some nice pads there playing underneath you. And now it's time to get to our video element that comes next. Hit this button. Hey, Brian Wall here with WorshipTutorials.com. Uh, I'm very... You heard pads come in there because there were actually pads in this video. This is actually a video about the pads that you can get. So what happened when we hit this is it stopped our audio and it played the audio from the video. So that is how you can use ProPresenter to play the pads in the background. Like I said, we use it this way. It works very well. If you uh, want more information on these pads and how you can get them, what they are, there is a link to a video below and uh, we, you will get all the information you need, how to get them, how to use them. If there are uh, other applications that you would like to know how to use the pads in, let me know. Um, if I can, I will make a video illustrating that. Uh, and this is just one video in a series of videos that will be available showing you how to use these pads uh, in different environments, different applications. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. We'll see you next time.